bikers for Trump shock fascist Antifa with a brutal surprise after they threaten president. Bikers for Trump are now stepping up to the plate after a week of violence perpetrated by the Rio fascists, the Antifa thugs. Our country has been under attack by the leftist Marxist group as they pillage our town squares, defacing our historical monuments. Now, Antifa has just threatened President Donald Trump and his supporters in a very real way. The bikers for Trump are drawing the line in the sand with their brutal surprise. You don't want to miss this. President Donald Trump is heading to Phoenix, Arizona, where he is holding a rally. Of course, thousands of Trump supporters, excited to see their commander-in-chief, will be on hand. Antifa, emboldened by the liberal media hailing them as heroes, have instructed their thugs to show up and cause mayhem at the president's event. This means more violence leveled at Trump supporters, and the bikers for Trump have had enough of the left's bullying of regular hard-working Americans. Chris Cox, president of Bikers for Trump made a call to action video, and he was clear, saying, we need bikers to go to Arizona right now to help President Trump. We need to show some force there after everything that's happened in Charlottesville and other places around the country. We are under attack. We have an assault on decency right now. Law enforcement is under attack, and we have to show the country that Donald Trump has our unyielding support. Below is the video of his entire message, in which Cox is stressing that decent Americans and President Trump are under attack by these leftist thugs. He urges no violence by the bikers, but we know if the Antifa idiots are stupid enough to attack Trump supporters, the bikers for Trump will be their worst nightmare. Gateway Pundit weighed in, saying, for over a year at nearly every event not sponsored by leftist Democrat and Black Lives Matter groups, the police have stepped aside and allowed horrendous acts of criminal violence against event participants while rarely arresting anyone committing these heinous acts. These violent groups, like fascist Antifa, are now inciting murder at these events. Who is allowing this to happen? Will the FBI please investigate these groups and determine who is ordering the police to allow them to commit violence? The partial answer to who is allowing Antifa to run wild has to do with local politics. Notice in the liberal cities, like Charlottesville and Baltimore, the police stand back. This is not what the majority of cops want to do, but they take orders from the top, and when the top is a bunch of Marxists, then you get what happened in Charlottesville, Virginia. How can we forget those images during the campaign of Trump supporters being violently attacked for no reason by the leftists, many times paid agitators? On June 2, 2016, Trump supporters were assaulted, spit on, beaten, cold cocked, egged, chased, tackled, and bloodied by mobs of the far left, Mexican nationalist, socialist, CU, and anarchist thugs as they left the San Jose Trump rally. One female Trump supporter was egged and spit on by hundreds of Mexican nationalists chanting, FCKU. Another Trump supporter was cold cocked with a bag of rocks while walking to his car and left bleeding. This is why we owe a debt of gratitude to the bikers for Trump who are stopping everything they are doing right now to get to Arizona. They are sick and tired of the liberal media blaming everything on Trump with their bogus narrative claiming he's a Nazi. Anyone wonder what happened to the crisis of Russia hacking our democracy? Yes, you have to wonder. It seems that fake crisis is all forgotten now that the liberals are banking on this Nazi Trump angle. Well, it's not going to work, not even close. Antifa is a hot mess of losers, who can take them seriously. Adults with half a brain can see that, so expect more violence as they don't get their way. Lots of love to them. The bikers for Trump aren't fooling around, and Antifa will regret going to Phoenix. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice. Voice.